What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming to hang out today. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I bought new mirrors for my Cummins. And I just, I spent, I don't know, two days, three days, something like that, sanding them down and, and painting them and making them all pretty and shit. And I uh, ended up just deleting all the footage because... You guys have seen me sand and paint and stuff before, so it wasn't really exciting. But what is exciting is that they're not basic mirrors. So when I bought the truck, it had a set of fourth gen mirrors on it, you know, but they were as cheap and basic as you could imagine. Like the power adjuster function wasn't worth a the shit. Uh, they didn't have marker lights. They didn't have puddle lights. The defrosters didn't work. And I, you know, when I bought the truck, they were just like faded black plastic. So I quickly sprayed them. I color matched them, you know, like I didn't sand any of the texture off or any of that stuff because I knew that I planned on upgrading the mirrors anyway. So I finally did. And I, I got them smoothed out and color matched and all that shit. But these ones, you know, they have... The good power adjusters, the defroster works. They've got the marker lights up on the corner and they have the puddle light up underneath. And today we have to wire these things in. So luckily for me, uh, my truck has, I installed LED door handles. So on the outside of the door handle, there is an LED strip that's a marker light and a turn signal. So I just have to tap into the marker light wire for that one. But the puddle light, I'm going to have to find the dome light wire inside that truck. Which I think I know which one it is, but I, I'm not actually 100% sure. So you guys are going to go along with me and we're going to get this thing figured out. So let's gather up some tools and uh, we'll go outside and put you up on the tripod. And we'll start tearing the doors apart. So we're going to need uh, this one here. And then we're going to need this 10. That extension. Um, let's see here. That boy right there. And let's see, where is it at? And my test light. Also, we're going to need, let's see, cutters, strippers, crimpers. Yeah, we're going to have to do a bunch more tool gathering. But for now, this is all we need. Let's go get started. In case you're unfamiliar. So, all I gotta do is find the wiring for that, for this one, and I tinted these because these are tinted, but that is gonna be fun to figure out. As far as I can tell from my research and stuff, I have to pull this pillar right here and pull the wiring harness out from underneath here and in here to get to the dome light wire. So let's get started. There will be a Phillips head screw here, there, right there. The 10 millimeter holds that door handle in and there's one right there. So let's get that one done. Now, when I bought these mirrors, they came with a factory replacement plug for the defroster and the power remove and all that shit. But this right here is for the uh, puddle light and clearance light. And I can't remember which one does which, but uh, we'll just take the battery out of this and hook them up and then we'll see which light does what. But they came with... 
this. I don't know how much wire it is or whatever, but it doesn't matter because it only has to come inside the door and go up the pillar. That side is the one that's going to take a lot of wire because I got to come underneath the dash and up inside all this stuff and then connect the two wires right here to go up to attach to the dome light wire. So this has to come out, which the previous owner put Allen head bolts in the damn speaker. So now I gotta go find some Allen wrenches. So here is the wiring for my door handles. The blue wire is the marker. The yellow light is the turn signal. Obviously the black wires are ground. So I'm just gonna tap into this wire right here for the marker light for the mirror. Then we have to come up here and this is gonna be the fun one, okay? Marker light and ground are done. We have marker lights, guys. Now I have to uh, put this door back together and uh, take the A-pillar apart. So I'm gonna get this door put back together and then I'll come back. <laughs> I just realized I have to take the other side apart, do all the same shit on the other side that I just did and then run the wiring through the cab before I can pull that A-pillar apart. So it's faster to do it off camera. And so I'm just gonna pull the door panel off, run the wiring, do all that dumb shit. And then I'll bring you guys back up for the destruction of the A-pillar. Well, that was fun. All the wiring for that door's done, the marker light works. I have both of my dome light wires here. Let's get this pillar off. Now, okay, here you have to take this plug and this plug carefully though. A big flat head is, anyway, up in there, yeah. You can't see it. Just take my word for it that there's two 10 millimeter bolts. Now let's pop them off. <clears throat> Bear with me here. Oh, that's a business right there. Okay. That one wasn't even tight. That's comforting. You know that one. Okay. Now, just like that, and then you pull that. Now, we have to take this plug off right here because I don't feel like chasing it down into the windshield or the dash pad. So I'm going to make my connection up here somewhere. So I'm going to pop these two clips in that plug and just kind of fold the harness out this way and then run these wires through here. My connections will be up here somewhere. Should be mint. Okay. If you do this, be very careful with these because they get very brittle. Because they're always, you know, in the heat cycles and shit. So be careful with these. Um, if I remember right, this yellow wire right here with the baby blue stripe is the dome light wire. But let's uh, confirm that with a test light. Take the test light here. Now my dome lights are not on because they're obviously unplugged, but they should have power still going to it. So let's see here. Oh, well, this part's unplugged. 
Huh, stupid. What I meant to say was, we have to test it for power down here, see? So I'm gonna have to pop that clip. That is gonna be fun. That's what you're not supposed to do. Anyway. So I see the yellow and blue wire right there. Let's get our test light. And it'll be the power wire. This is killing me here. Okay, jumper wire did confirm that it is that yellow and blue wire right there. Now don't confuse that with this yellow and gray one. This is actually gray. Focus, you son of a bitch. That is yellow and blue. That right there, which if you're looking at your plug, come on. Is number nine so take your number nine wire and you can take it out of this end or this end it doesn't really matter but we're gonna connect it to that wire and I just hook my jumper wire to the number nine on this plug to this wire which comes from the mirror and they came on with the door they faded out like they were supposed to this should be the correct one so I'm gonna Now watch this. Ta-da! So here's what we did. I took the wires, my whites from my mirrors, and put them up inside that connector. And I know a lot of people hate these butt connectors, but you know what? I haven't had any problems with them, so I'm going to keep using them. But that's all you got to do. Let's find the yellow and baby blue wire. Or number nine in your plug find a good location where you have a little bit of room to work with like I have plenty of space here to play with made the cut put the connector on brought the wires up so I've got all three of the wires here in the bottom and that's it dome lights are back part of lights work on the doors <sighs> okay hopefully this helps you guys if you've decided to do this and this trick also works you know for whatever you want to hook up to if you if you want to put uh, steps with the lights on if you want to put just LED lights like under your doors on your rocker panels or whatever and you want to figure out how to do this that's it uh, number nine on that plug right there and it's yellow and baby blue that's it and your dome lights work so now I'm going to put all this here back together and uh, go in because it's cold out here and I'm done playing. So thanks for tuning in today, guys. I appreciate the views. If this video helped you, give me a like, toss me a subscribe if you want to. But more importantly, remember, your dreams don't work unless you do. So get outside and tear something apart. <laughs>